was we were having a, a meeting. The Women's Emergency Committee was having a meeting, and we always had a committee go to the school board meetings to see what they were doing. We had had an election where we won four seats. We thought that one of the men, we weren't sure about him, but we were assured by some of these other downtown people that he would be all right. But the board ended up with three hardened segregationists and three moderate, very moderate people, one of whom was uh, definitely a segregationist, and one was a, an integrationist. He was very liberal, and the other was in the between. Well, we were at this meeting, and the phone rang, and uh, one of the girls who was at the meeting said, they're firing our teachers right and left. Well, how could they do that? We were just astounded. So we, some of us went on down to the school board. Some of us, we, all, we knew we had to get into gear. And I did know that we were going to have to recall those. What had happened was that those, the three moderate members of the school board had left because they couldn't get a majority and they were not going to participate in this. So while they were gone, the bad three fired 44 people, teachers and principals and administrators. So uh, this was a good thing in a way because the men of the city, the business community, had never taken up the, the battle. It was just no one but the women until that. Now, we all, I had some support from my husband, and other women had support. Some of the women had to get a divorce. I mean, it was just, it was such a divisiveness in the community.